Hey, I'm Paul, uh, Education Coordinator for Hunt's Photo and Video here at our local coffee shop, Jitters, uh, to talk a little bit about New 55 Large Format Instant Film. Uh, New 55 comes from a long-standing tradition of instant large format films. Gives a really unique look to your photograph with a lot of depth. It's an excellent way of transitioning from analog to digital for professional photographers, as well as the standard user or someone who's interested in kind of giving a nice, more interesting look to their photos. So what you need for a standard New 55 shot is large format camera like we have here, 4x5, Polaroid 545 back, which we actually sell at Hunt's Photo, the New 55 film. Within here you've got a negative and then you've also got a print and then you also have a little bit of chemicals that kind of merge the two together. So what we're going to do is we're going to load this film right now into the Polaroid 545 holder and we're going to go ahead and take a couple shots. So as you can see on the top of the Polaroid holder here we have a couple different options. We can do L for load, P for process, and R for release. So what we're going to do is we're going to load the film in right now. So you're going to put that in the lens side right there, which is going to go in just like so. Okay. And at any time, if we want to release this entirely, all we have to do is hold down on here and we can just release it and it comes out just like normal. Okay. So if we shoot this right now and we want to come back later and develop it, we can do that. We're going to be processing these here today though. This is Jim from, uh, from Jitters. He's going to be our subject today, and we're going to try and get a little bit of a portrait of him in his environment here. So I'm going to take my little meter reading right here and fire my flash. So we've got our general meter reading here, and I'm going to go set everything up on the camera right now. Okay, so I'm going to focus on Jim right now, uh, and I'm going to obtain the focus using uh, these little dials here. There is no autofocus on 4x5 and large format film, so it's all manual focus. Once Jim gets in his position, he's going to have to stay there, which is okay. I uh, like making him uh, wait. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, load the film in. That's going to go right in the back, right over here. I wish I'd put this on the other side. That's okay. All right. Shutter's cocked. What we're going to do is we're going to bring out the black slide here. Because there's pressure applied here, it's going to hold the rest of the film in place. Pretty much ready to go. Okay, Jim, you ready? Why don't you just lower your head just a tiny bit? Thank you. Okay. Put the dark slide back in. Take it out. So as I mentioned earlier, if I want to just take this out, I can actually just kind of bring this out right here, okay, by releasing it. But I actually want to process this. So I'm going to change it from L to P for process. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a nice even pull. What I want to do is I want to break the packet that's inside there to spread all of that kind of uh, developer all over the negative itself. I'm going to pull it. Okay. And I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty confident with that, but I actually kind of want to just even it out a little bit. And I'm going to actually take the broad edge here of this box and just bring it so that I kind of even out the emulsion just a little bit. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. I'm going to wait for two minutes. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, so I'm actually going to take this out. Just remove the remove after processing. Okay. And I've got my little container of fixer right here because I want to really quickly just put this in. Okay. So here we go. Got our nice little picture of Jim here. Looks pretty good. And we've got our negative, which is right over here. 
in the fixer and it looks pretty decent. Even though this looks like a good print, the negative itself is going to be what's important to us because we're going to scan this in. We're going to get a high resolution image out of here. So I actually want to make this a little bit denser. We're looking for this to not necessarily look its best. And when that happens, the negative itself is going to look really fantastic. So we have an upcoming workshop up at the Vermont Center for Photography in Brattleboro on April 30th. And it's actually going to be a really fantastic uh, chance to get hands on with new 55 film and large format cameras. If you're really into four by five, you have to do this. If you're just into film a little bit and you want to try it, it's going to be a good opportunity. And if you've never done it before, if you've never shot film, you know nothing about four by five, it's going to change your life really, because it's really a fantastic process and very interesting. Uh, so, Jim, we want to thank you for uh, hosting us here today. Glad to. And uh, come here for coffee because they're really, uh, they're really nice. Well, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah.